Gaps, drum rolls, everything! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm literally shouting, but I'm giving you the sound. You said drums, because, I'm giving you guitar. Okay, okay, give me guitar now. Yes, give me keyboard. Yeah, keyboard! Oh, oh. Sorry. sorry. You already know. We have the <laughs> one, the only, Daryl eh? Heavy Red! Oh my god, sorry. I don't, I don't even know. Do you know what you Just know? say, feel free. Personal Let's icon. Go. Yes. Legend. Legend. Been here for a long time. Yes, so. Did done it. Was here before we started. Who's in that cup? Any. That's the any portion. Yeah. Okay, continue because I like so that now, So continue. now, so now, yes. you know, icon. Mm -hmm. Did it before we came here. Woo! Still doing it. Yes. Relevant for years. Amen. And years still to come. Yes. I mean, you know, that's that's what you call the pace setter right there. Sitting right there. Woo! Ah, ah. I'm so excited. Emmy. Da. You, yeah. you just see, you just gave me the intro of a lifetime. Now it's my turn. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, ah. this is food for our souls. Mm. The oxygen we breathe. A cultural ah. reset. Okay. The author of culture. What's in, what's new, what's now. The man who puts a full stop at the top spot. He under promises but over delivers. Ladies and gentlemen, the commodore of the lip gloss republic. Am I still talking? Not really, really. I should calm down. I know, I it's know. Your just program. Like, Sorry, it's your program, sorry. It's your program. Yes, chill, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Chill, bro. Yeah. You know, like, I, it's, it's such, it's such, it's such, it's, I'm, it's such an honor to have you, like, sitting down there. You, you know, you know, like, let me tell you, like, what's different for me. Okay. Like, when a lot of people, like, call me, right? I mean, it's not a lot to do, it's just like a bit too. <laughs> but like, <laughs> when a lot of people will come here, and those who have come, like, I know, like, I find everybody intriguing, right? Because, oh, popular, famous, and all of that. But, like, with you, I'm like, this is someone, like, who gave me, like, the boldness yes. to, like, do what I do right Woo! now. Take the world by and storm. And I'm like, exactly. And, like, that's, that, that's been your energy. So, like, since I, I was reading about you on papers hey! before social media even came. I said I give it give respect to those who did it before social No, you media. do. Can I just say this about yeah. Eniolua very quickly? Yeah. For every time I have run into you, uh -huh. you have always accorded accolades to me. At times I'm like, okay, Eni, it's okay, it's okay. So calm down, mm -hmm. but you would always yeah. give respect, regard, and I give that to you yeah. any day, any time. Um, uh -uh. Then you. teach what you from out. Then teach what you. Oh. Yes, um, I mean, really, that's, that's, that's like the beginning of it all. Like, where I read you on papers, literally. Like, Thank I, I saw you in magazine covers. And you're from Ekiti, right? So, plenty places, actually. Yeah. So, my dad is from Ogun State. My yeah. grandma is from Ekiti. My dad is from Ogun State. Abel Kota, my grandma from Ekiti. My mom is... Her dad is Indian, her mom is from Mauritius. Yeah. I was born in Hamburg, Germany, so please You're help just like, me. The old I'm blood is just me. I'm confused, nationality-wise. And that's fine. Where are you from? I'm from Ikiti, that's okay. why. Let me tell you, because you know, that's even the funny thing. They used to farm you in this city. I, I, I love Ikiti, actually. Ikiti. They farm you. Let Every me tell them, like, they're from Ikiti. I'm like, uh, yeah. It was Ikiti, right? Uh -huh. So, I brought a friend of mine to Ikiti, and let me just say this here. Aduni Ade, you know the amazing Aduni yeah. Ade? Her first ever gig when Aduni Ade came to Nigeria, mm -hmm. she wanted to act, but I told her, you must host a show with me, with Reminis. And then I dragged down stage. And when she was talking, hi everybody, you know, the crowd was like, and I told Aduni, Cheko Yon. Aduni just said, Shen Shere! I love the place energy. when gangsta. So whenever I see Aduni hold her on that Ekiti concert. So Ekiti holds memories for us. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And that's that's really funny because you know, like we did we you know a lot of people act like you know social media is a very funny place. Of and I say it, it ah. I say it every time because for example, when I started like beauty and all of it, and everybody's always talking about how do you deal with AIDS mm -hmm. and all of this. And I say like I don't see any AIDS when it comes to like real life or like yeah. real experiences. Most of these things are Social media, you may see. Oh, you just see this thing. Is that is it like the same thing for you? No, I'm mine sorry. is a okay. different frequency entirely. Okay. So you know now, I started my hustle before the advent of the internet yeah. and social media. So now we have faceless identities always typing. We call them trolls. Yeah. You say haters. H a t e r s for me is an acronym for hating at those experiencing real success. <gasps> what? 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 Period. Hit. <laughs> Drops. No tampons. No. And then of course. You see, when they type type all that stuff and they say all kinds to me, I just look for the humor in these things. But you see, back then for me, it was upfront confrontation. Yeah. You know, so there was no form of internet, there was no, you know, social media. So people needed to 
transfer that aggression. Either they see you on screen and they don't like what you're doing, they don't understand it. So when they see you on the streets, mm -hmm. they transfer it. I remember times where, you know, I was, I mean, I finished from Unilag, University of Lagos, graduated from Unilag, greatest Akokite, and... Great! Great! Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not an Akokite. I know. I greatest you. Bobo. Bobo. Greatest Bagba. Bagba. Hey, Oti, well, you are from Unilag, Josh. Okay. I'm from Unilag, yeah. Okay, energy. I you did know, SUG. You did SUG? Yes, ah, okay, well, yeah. But, um, honorable That's... House. Oh, but, but, yeah. Yeah, honor, I'm coming honor, I'm not saying on Jeff, I wasn't even clear of the house at all. You're I'm, kidding me. I'm serious, so it's just that when he, I was like, you know, there's always like the intellectual Jesus, no shit. No, like, no, no shit. That, that, that they will need, you know, when mm -hmm. everyone does the go go go, and they need you to do the real work. The real, now, yeah. the real writing. So, like, so that means like, your lodgings on campus will definitely have not been like the regular. It so have been in somewhere special. Yeah. Uh, we're one of the, the one with AC, not fun. Yeah, I yeah, see. kind of. Yeah. Well, you know, I was doing like a trip mm -hmm. down memory lane of my days in uni. Yes. Like, the people in my set, Toke Makinwa, mm -hmm. Toi Lawani. Toke Makinwa was in your set. Yes, Yvonne Nungo, Suvon Kuto. My best friend in school still is my girl any day in time, Linda Ikeji, because we're both in the same class. Yeah. I used to write Linda's tests and exams for it. That's and that's three from that day. Yeah. And then. I um, said, bo boss babes now. So, yeah. No, I, yeah, we are wrong, you know. So, yeah, Linda is. Hey! <laughs> so, to everybody who hated us in school back then, be like, ha! This is your friend Lynn. I'm like, yo, but you all used to run her down in class. Mm -hmm. um, what again was, and then um, I, I had this conversation with the mom of the unidentical duo, who is Tutu. You know, the beautiful twins on Instagram, yeah. Olivia and Oleana. Their mom was one of the, <laughs> we shall not go DM. Okay, so away from that, you know, I was talking about upfront confrontation yeah. in school. My lecturers walked me out mm -hmm. of class. Then I didn't have a car, so if I take public transport, if I get into a bus, the driver would either be shouting, we are recording no matter me. I could be sitting in a bus quietly. Maybe, you know, like when a bus says, ah, yabo yingo, and I'm the first person. Yeah. And I'm just quiet. And then when passengers want to enter, once they see me, eh, where are they? They'll just run out. Yeah, I'll say, hey, then the conductor will throw me out. But did I they didn't know you as Derry Lee that time. They just knew that I was this guy on TV. Right. Who, you know, then I was on like a couple of soap operas. I had done Kid Division 101 in 1994 to 98. Anyway, where were you then? Um, where were you? Won. Anyway, where were you? Won. I finished secondary school. I graduated in 1997. Where were you and your love? I was in, I was in university. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was in Paul. University, was in university of the world. Yeah, I'm university. I get you, I get you. But in 97. Yes, oh, that's no. when I finished secondary school, SST. Yeah, got out. And then I got into Unilag in 1998. I was, I was a teacher from 1997 to 98. I needed to hustle. But we'll still get to all of that, you mm -hmm. know. So talking about the upfront confrontations, I had like, yeah. you know, even adults holding on the street. They would say, stop there, young man. Stop, stop. Don't you have parents at all? Why are you dressed like this? What is all this? If I was your father, I would disown you. And I got that like on a regular. I remember even going to the markets, Yaba markets, because you know, we used to shop there. I used to go get my stuff. And then I have like all the people selling stuff, stoning me. And then you know how Lagos is. Yeah. If the bus drivers will not let me enter their bus, me, I used to do a lot of trekking. So I started the trek. But then trekking, I remember the places like Ikeja when I go for castings, you know, yeah. modeling auditions. I even shared the story recently on Instagram about, you know, when we got the job and we're not going to call their name here yeah yes one very popular soda drink we're vying for the job let me tell you people that were on that gig ocukg mm -hmm. um i almost said pastor jimmy Odukoya. i told you they really take the pastor out of my name <laughs> jimmy Odukoya. um my um um titi um titi dynamite who is like the host on wake up nigeria yeah. a lot of us were you know fighting for hustling. the gig we're yeah. hustling so as boss no go carry me i didn't have money for taxi and then bikes, they were quite expensive. So I would do like a lot of trekking. I'll trek from Alausa to Maryland. Now, you know Lagos and traffic, synonymous. Yeah. So as you're trekking, Nigerians now in traffic are bored. So when they look, what do they see? They see this unusual figure walking. Why is he dressed this way? She won't share any. So they wind up. Why? What's wrong with you? Come on, look at you. Disgrace. And so I'll cross the road. I'll cross the road. At the point, they will take pure water. They will stone me. People with eggs. So I got that like on the regular. Yeah. And then um, I would go home, of course. And let's be human here, I would cry. Right. Yes, yeah, because I, I mean, that's that's right. But did you, when you went home, which is like the very crucial part, did yeah. you ever feel, was there like the embrace for when you went home? See, chop the knuckle from that angle. Yeah. There was no embrace. I looked into the camera. There was nothing of that sort. Because you see, the only people that understood what I was about, and you know, maybe they felt it was going to pay off on the long run, mm -hmm. were my family members. That's, yeah. you know, close knit siblings. My mom, my dad, and my two sisters. Yeah. But I grew up in a family house. Hmm. So we had like over eight cousins, my grandma, God bless her soul, and then visiting uncles and whatnot. So leaving all of that reality yeah. and moving to a house, I was facing even more. Because the 
reception in my house was even more negative than it was on the streets. My cousins, early in the morning, like, I have to wake up very quickly mm. so I can quickly use the toilet because my cousins were so wicked, they would always close the toilets by 7 in the morning. So if you need to do your business, you say you're going to do it in a lylon and you're throwing it to the next compound. <laughs> they were that nasty. And then I could remember days like, you know, we'll be cooking in the kitchen, maybe you're trying yeah. to boil pepper. Before you go and come back, somebody would have spat out mucus blah, in it, you know. Just out of spite and Just out of spite. Man. And then they'll be telling me, you know, look at you, disgracing the family. You want them to discover you because you're dressing this way. They will discover you. What? But, sorry, shame on, shame on you. Uh, well, yeah. I'm sorry, who, who, is, who is not discovered? But, <laughs> please, please, but, no, no, say it again, say sorry, it again, sorry. say it again. Um, shame Let on them you. see my jacket. This is a general announcement to yeah. those um, nasty people. Shame on you. Shame. Shame. <laughs> look at you. Shame. Look, look, at, look at this icon right here. They didn't get it, yeah. you know, and it always happened every single day. So what I did was... As much as I could, I try to be out of the house. Yeah. So in the mornings, I wake up, I go to every single audition, I go to castings, and then I'll come back really late. So as to avoid all that negative energy and reception in my house and criticism. Because if I walk past the corridor, and then even I remember those days that I washed my uniform. I went to St. Gregory's College. So yeah. uniform, white, white. I wash, dry it, and then to just spike my cousins will just drag it, and then they will throw it by the floor. And this is a uniform. White uniform. White. So I will say that it's trampled and I can't, now this is late at night, I'll get up in the morning and sit on the floor, I can't start washing it. Mm -hmm. So I'll just wait like that. And then every time on assembly ground, I was brought out for, for dirty uniform, you understand? So I was, so at the point, the prefects and the seniors just pity me. Hey, just this boy really again. Okay, just go. Go, young man, go. You so this, it means that this, this wasn't even like, you know how everybody talks about, uh, it's going to change. So like, you're seeing, so like for a very young age. Yes. Like you've been doing it. True that, true that. And um, like I said, you know, when you are in a society that um, is totally unreceptive and people mm. just don't know, it's a conservative society. Yep. So now Very. we've got it to a point where now Nigerians mm, admire the artistry behind what we do, mm -hmm. but they don't want to try it. Yes. And they'll say, hey, I agree. Uh, it's nice. Yes. Actually, it won't fit you, the cloth fit you. But would you like to wear? Uh, no, no. we we'll not wear, but we we'll admire it on mm -hmm. you. So now they started to pause and admire the creativity. I think we're getting to a point where a lot of noise makers you yeah. know i always say that one person's data is another person's noise yeah. unfortunately success is measured accordingly to that noise everybody wants to be seen everybody wants mm -hmm. to be heard everybody wants to be everywhere noise respects no boundaries yeah but then i would always say that are you making noise or are you making sense hmm. for me i wasn't making noise at that point i just wanted to i wanted to be different from the guy next yeah. door i wanted to stand out mm -hmm. you know which i was in school but they were beefing me every day. you know that beef magazine hey you just say my name at the top. Really? You are so stupid. You think like a girl. I remember that first. I can. I don't know where that line can get out of my head. And then really, you're such a. Beep, beep, beep. Ha! I'll say, hey God. I God. love. I love the. But you know, like I do not care. <laughs> well, at that point, I didn't care. Care. Too. Yes. And yeah. then the. You see, I had an identity crisis when mm -hmm. I got into you like the first year. Every time I'm walking around, you see people just stop me. Sorry, sorry. Can I talk? And then I'll stop. Sorry, are you a boy or a girl? I say, ha. ha. I you see me with tossed. baggy jeans and you know, and also I wouldn't respond with are you that because you know in you like you never know who you're talking to. True. So you have at that yeah. point you have you gotta be careful. So I'll say, ah, I would I would answer. Then one time I just said, you know what? They must actually acknowledge that I exist for them to be asking me this question. Mm. I don't have designer clothes. I had like two shirts and three jeans. So when they stop me, I'll not say, Do you want to check? You now see people, ah no, 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 no. But the bulldog say, hey, I want to check. I say, Yes, I'm checking you, you check my own. So I just made fun of the situation. Yeah. And that followed me from year one to year four. Do, do you think? Do you think that ever like bothered your childhood at all? Yes, it did. I'll be very honest. It did because um, you see, I was not only ostracized. Yeah. You see, I grew up on Bonue in Alagomeji, and opposite, I saw like people who were like my mates. So I just wanted, you know, I, I wanted friends. And then I remember the first I went to their house. We we're playing football. I was excited, and their mom came and said, "I do not want to ever see you around my kids again." Terrible. I say, "Hey." So I carried my mush and went back into my house. And then because I was constantly ostracized, mm -hmm. every single time, it was like a shot of nobody wanted to be associated with me. Then except really, really, the streets. You know, anyway, you guys use your dictionary. This is your <laughs> okay, the, ah, yeah, uh, but let's find, I, I was about to say segregated. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. And you're like, let's come up with, let's come up with a lipstick word. Um, <laughs> ostracized. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now, who is bringing the bigger word? Um, See? That's what, it's, it's not what it is, okay. <laughs> We can do we can do it. Too. We're shut out from the yes. rest of the world. I mean, and the only people who kind of just maybe just liked my vibe and just wanted to, oh, let's relate with this person, 
where this where the you know street people and that's why I'm like you know I always say any day anytime I'm a street boy I'm a local champion any day anytime growing up in Yaba nobody really know me for that Yaba you know so the street guys ah they only have my head to my Murabi weary you know to my Murabi ah what is the child asho you know and the rec the average Nigerian would see me and hiss in disgust I will have I will be walking at time people will spit they just you know so the only person who uh, my mom, because I mean, my mom is not Nigerian, so yeah. she, I think she kind of just said, maybe he'll get tired of it and then he would. Mm -hmm. My dad, on the other hand, any this is the part we need to give him kudos. Yeah. My dad is the man from Ogun State, Abel Kotalaki, and we're living in his family house. The house he grew up in, his dad lit, you know, with his um, siblings', siblings. kids, mm -hmm. and with his stepmom, my grandma, who's late now. My dad, every day, I remember that, you know, when I go to church, they just told me to stop coming to church, excommunicated me from church, they said this one day. They really do Alaba. Please step out of the church now. And I used to be in the choir as well. So they just practically walked me out. They, 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 we call it when they disrobe you. I was in the choir room. We're about to start the procession into the church. And I just came out of here. Out. And then I looked. Ah, I, and I was wearing a robe on what I was wearing. So how do I look like the agent of the devil? Yeah. So I left the church. And then, you know, my grandma started screaming at me in the house. And then they called aunties from. But I called, they were crying. Ah, Alaba, Omo eating Yahweh. You can't see it. He's running mad. Yaba left his calling, you know. And my dad, considering the fact that now proper Yoruba man would have just said, This child needs a beating. Mm -hmm. My dad would just call me into the room and would laugh. That's and this is shockingly true. He would address it and would laugh about it. I was worried yeah. because I didn't know how he was gonna take it. And then you know what my dad used to do? I used to keep me. I used to cut his shirts, like his mm -hmm. church shirts. I'll cut it, redesign it. My dad would buy pins. There, there was a time I was on the face of pins. My dad would buy plenty of pins from Balogo Market and give me. There was a time I was on the face of keys. I used to hang keys on my clothes. My dad would buy keys. One time I liked padlocks. My dad would buy me padlocks and bolts. So he was very encouraging. And you know, my dad lives with me presently. Whoa. Yes, he does. My dad is going to be 80 this year. Come November, the Wale and I, I, I were talking I need, about. I need to, yeah. I need, uh, you know, that's the funny thing. I need to understand the spirit of agelessness because the many. Woo! I don't know Yes. That you are. Fuck you, yeah? Yes. Enemy of Paro. Fuck you. Be 40. You're not 18. Grow. Yes, and I'm not anybody's mate. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, wait. What's the secret to this agelessness? I think it's peace of mind and inner happiness. And mm. then also because um, I don't wish anyone bad if i'm not a destiny stealer yeah. or an enemy of progress yeah. my dad had me when he was my dad was married before to yeah. a german lady when he was in hamburg germany he used to be a dj you know and then the lady i think she was some sort of alcoholic god bless her so mm -hmm. she rolled down the stairs and broke her neck so he met my mom when my mom was in school my mom was quite young you know so when they had me fought when i mean my mom gave it to my parents yeah. conceived me in hamburg germany they brought us back to germany and you know my dad was living large and he was like the the eye of the Edwin family like yeah. this guy that brought his foreign woman see their first son and then it was a reversal of fortunes and my dad lost everything lost yeah. the bakery that he invested so much in and we moved out of our duplex into an uncompleted building but you know that's another story from that day mm -hmm. the truth is i think one of the things that has not only given me peace of mind and not only inner happiness and the resilience to constantly survive is from my humble beginnings i remember I used to live on the streets, and bro. This, maybe that's, that's, I feel yeah. like that, that's like the only difference, like, yeah. one I don't have. Like, you, you are butler now. And it's kind of, yeah, and it can of. be stressed. And should we call it, should we call your butler now? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> we, we, we probably have to, like, go on a break, quick break, guys. But when we're back, it's still daily or the late night show. More to come, so much games and a lot of conversation. Okay, hey guys, we are back with Derele. Oh, Derele, obviously, no, you can have more of my. Uh, I'll have you now, I was just about to just steal small cake and pop up. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. And we're about to play truth or shut it. We have very, very quick questions for you, Derele. And obviously, I'm going, to, I'm going to answer my questions, though. Derele, these are very tough questions. Okay, bring it are on. Are you ready? I was born the ready. The first question is Are you dating anyone now? And if you are, who is it? I am not dating anyone now, but I'm talking to so many people, Lord! <laughs> Let me just give you an example. There's one who is a wonderful artist. End of story. Did I answer it right? Yes, you did. That's <laughs> <laughs> you right. Am I, am, I, am I supposed to give mine? No, I don't have to. Uh, well, no. I would love to put you on the spot, team, but um, it's your show. You call the shot. Okay, thank so you. Because I'm not dating anyone. Next one. 
Okay, this is even more difficult. Okay. On What's your nat nastiest experience with any celebrity? Ah! You get one way sing one song way popular that time. I remembered entering 11.45, a very popular club yeah. back then. And then he was sitting there, another artist was there. And then I was not even planning on sitting with them. I was passing by. The whole idea was to enter and say hi. Yeah. And then he was telling me, please, 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 I don't want all these game motherfuckers around me. Pardon my French guys. I don't want all these game motherfuckers around me, blah, 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 blah. And then I left. And I remembered weird MC, Ijoya, heard what he said. And she was outraged. But I told her, I said, Mama, leave him. You know what I did? I used to work with the music channel back then. I went to the office the next day. Hell had no fury than a bitch in scorn. I made sure they deleted all his music videos on the system. That's one. Well, the Secondly, for every red carpet event I went to, anytime he was coming, I would just tell them, lights off. And I'll hold my And he'll come and stand beside me and I'll be like, can I Do help I you? you? Yeah. So I gave him that proper... You know, I needed to because I knew he had been doing that to other people. Yeah. Effeminate people like that who did not have the power to fight yes. back. And then I remembered he wanted to be on the cover of the magazine back then. Uh -huh. And then he came, they were busy doing the interview. I said, but I hope you know it's a waste of time. Because, because this is never going to print. I'm the publisher. It's never going to go. So after then, he now came begging. But then guess what? Should I give you the secret to this artist? Uh, what? <laughs> he, was no. busy, he was busy doing man too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but since you can't say the name, you have to take a shot. I will tell you the... Ah! After all that tea I gave you. <laughs> ah, it's a, it's a not... Wait. You know the artist don't make me do this. Wait, tell me, tell me, my head, tell me, my head. I will tell no. Ah, any see, I can't have yes. You are wired. Your microphone, you are wired. Jesus is true, is true, is true. Let, let me just take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Let me take a little sip for holding back his yeah, hand. Yeah, I will yeah, not do that to sip, him. Just, just a sip. sip. Just a sip. Mm. Just. But did I do it too well? Yeah, yeah, you did. I did that. No, that's what they said me because you know people know how to throw shots, but they don't know how to take it. Thank you. I'm glad I did. Next one. Yes. We're almost done. Have you ever dated any celebrity? If you have, who? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we only two famous okay. people. Let, let me ask yeah. you now. Is it someone who I dated who was not a celebrity and later became a celebrity? Or someone who I dated when the person was a celebrity and... When? Mm. If I give us the two. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to just say this very quickly. Yeah. You know when you say I am by your side, mm -hmm. the by is, is I'm going to change the spelling from B Y to B I. Yeah. So let's just say I've had the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. I've been adventurous and experimental. Yeah. So the first person I would have I, I did date who now became a celebrity is a very popular talk show host who hosts a show every morning. She's amazing. She's married now with twins. Okay. Then the second person is a very popular artist who was amazing to me. Mm -hmm. But the person is married now. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's Ellie, no, because that's, it's a late that's night show, that's, that's, that's I'm giving this juice. No, that's fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Last yes. one, last one, last one, last one. Are you ready, Yes, very ready. On your recent interview with Chile, yes. Yes. You, know, you spoke about having dating someone of the same gender before. Yes. If you were given the opportunity to once again, would you do it? I would not hesitate as long as I find love. See, I deserve all the love I give to others. For as hard as my life has been, it's not hurting my heart. It's even made me more amazing. So if I find someone with the same gender who's going to give me all the love that I'm seeking, who is going to make me relax, I will relax and be taken care of because I've never had that experience in my life. I'm always the one that they will come and relax beside me and I'm taking care of yeah. them. I think I'll jump into it. But you for now, you deserve love and pampering always. Then. Yes, and I'm always the one pampering and loving people up and no, down. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. Yes. But you know, I'm on the same boat with you right now. We're single, we're not... Yeah. We're single, we're not dating anything. Am I stressed? Am I stressed? Am I stressed? Am I stressed? Sh shouldn't we drink to singlehood? Oh, okay. And people not stress. One, two, ready. Go. Okay, she. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took, I took, I took everything. No, I you spiritually drank. Yeah, it. yeah. That's Let me lick my finger. Mm. 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 Oh, Ozo, Ozo, Wale. And that is Derele on our truth or short it. He just answered five questions and he gave us all of the energy. No, Derele, I give you. I, don't, I, I can give you all that I have. Oh, be careful what you wish for. Mm -hmm. Oh, do not. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Of course, this is the end of the show today. And what better way to end it now with the one and only? Are you I know, I know why we're wrapping this up, but when you're free, you're going to come back, right? Excuse me, I'm already here. My mattress is downstairs. I took a room downstairs. I mean, and because you know, we both used to live on the mainland before, which is like the same environment, if you understand what I mean. But now yeah, we're on the island. So yes, mainland to island. That's a serious career trajectory. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> they don't get it, but they can't. No, we, we, we understand we better. <laughs>
<laughs> and can I just say, see, when you're talking about a content creator, mm -hmm. brand strategist, uh -huh. social media guru, business manager, because you're, you're managing your business well, yeah. strategic marketer, brand consultant, consumer insight expert, there's only one name that comes readily to mind. Thank you so much, Dave. Only you. And of course, it's just a late night show with any. Do not forget, Whoa. always watch, always subscribe. Thank you, Dave. For, I mean, I feel... I love you, Sibit. I love you so much. I love you, Sibit. It's late yeah. night, too. Yeah. I want to ask you something. You've yeah. been asking me questions, yes. too. Ask when me. it's time for that activity, lights on or lights off? <laughs> Definitely lights off. I don't want to see anything. Ah. <laughs> with music, with music on, give me Beyonce. Oh! <laughs> Good night, guys. They call me to be shady, save you for me. It's the key, it's the key. You know what's up with this? Great. Shut down, shut down.